yep. did the last little bit for me. Well, uh, Danny and Rhonda at the farm, Danny had had, was in a car accident, had back pain for 20 years, suffered with it. Pro Tandem took it away in six weeks. It's never come back. It's been years, a couple years. And they gave their horse Pro Tandem. Their horse has cataracts. They would have to lead the horse to the barn because he couldn't see. They, I don't know why, they, maybe the Holy Spirit told them to do it. Gave the horse Pro Tandem, cataracts are gone. Woo yeah. So I just asked Jen this. Um, do you guys take Protandum daily? And because I, I know it's kind of more of an expensive product. I have friends who are trying to get me yeah. on it. Um, is it something that if you were you if you were only take it for say X amount of months and you you couldn't take it daily, do you think it would still be benefit? I mean, obviously it'd be beneficial, or do you think it just erase? I guess what I'm asking is, do you think this is like a multi that you should take all the time? Or do you think it's something you could take for six months and then stop and then start over it again? Or Either way, I mean, my <laughs> my idealistic mindset that is so contrary to the world we've created today is that, you know, maybe it'd be easier if we lived in Hawaii, but uh, ideally we wouldn't need to take a bunch of supplements know. you know we'd live outside and we'd have fresh air and drink clean water and be in the sun and work hard and that's how it used to be mm -hmm. in today's world with the pollution the smog the weird stuff in our food i don't think it's a bad idea to protect yourself uh, this is something we do take every day i've kind of gone on and off with it jen's been pretty consistent with it um, i've gone on and off a couple of times when you stop taking it um, after a while it's going to stop doing that. It's going to stop helping your cells to produce antioxidants. Now the healing benefits that it provides, you know, let's say it reduced inflammation in your back and you know, it shouldn't be like a band-aid. It's not an aspirin. It shouldn't just take the pain away. It's actually going to help heal the area because it's going to reduce stress and inflammation in the area so that the body can heal that area. So I'd like to think that you could heal some things and stop rotanum and it not be a big deal. But to take it for six months or whatever would be a great for anybody, really. Yeah, I would say the minimum is minimum. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like a three to six month window where you get the full benefit of the glutathione production. Mm -hmm. It's like the, the full production of like 300%. Mm -hmm. And then I would say, upwards. yeah. And then some people, like I, I also tell some people like, you know, try it for three to six months. If you have no noticeable different, you know, no noticeable changes and your life hasn't changed at all and it's financially a burden, then just stop it. Because maybe that isn't the right. Maybe right. we know that whatever it's doing is is benefiting you in health, but maybe there's some other steps that you need to take mm -hmm. around that that might be more affordable mm -hmm. for you. So I'm gonna read. Um, so this is. Uh, <laughs> this is funny. I gotta say this. This is one of my little jokes. Should we eat seedless grapes or seeded grapes? Seeded. Isn't it weird to eat something that can't reproduce itself? <laughs> Doesn't that seem weird? Okay, so people buy seedless grapes that are hybridized or modified or whatever, and then they go to the health food store and buy grape seed extract. <laughs> <laughs> grape seed. Grape seeds in a bottle that you pay for. <sighs> anyway, I just, I, I just think that's funny. They, they, so in other words, the they, seeds are really good for you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm going to read the ingredients to this just to give you an idea of, uh, because this is a cool company, Synergy. They have really good quality products. Cell protector. So it's an antioxidant product to protect the cells. If somebody was going through chemo, radiation, something that's an onslaught of damaging the human body and oxidizing and damaging the cells of the body, we want to protect the body. And so because this company understands nutrition very well, I just want to give you an idea of what's in their product to understand what they see as antioxidants. Because one thing we haven't talked about a lot with antioxidants is foods. So green foods, incredibly powerful antioxidant type of foods. But they have selenium in here from sprouted garlic. I never even heard about sprouted garlic. We should sprout some garlic. That sounds like fun. Sprouts, broccoli, cress, daikon, red radish, cauliflower, cabbage, and arugula. Then it has turmeric, milk thistle, shisandra berries, pomegranates, pomegranate seed, and they're another very powerful antioxidant, ginger, watercress leaf, wasabi, cilantro, yes. artichoke juice, dandelion juice, and black radish 
juice. So it's just a good idea of some foods that are really potent antioxidants. Uh, Nuke Protect is a product that I have given people many times going through radiation. Nuke Protect. So think Fukushima, think these nuclear power plants blowing up. It's the same kind of weird stuff they're putting in people's body and for medicine. Um, Rust coriaria is really high in vitamin C. Vitamin C, another very powerful antioxidant. That's why vitamin C is such a big deal for so many people. This has kelp in it. Shaga, mushroom, cumin, oregano. It's North American urban spice. There's going to be oregano in it. Um, red sour grape, another very powerful antioxidant. Red sour grape. Um, that's what's in a lot of the resveratrol products. You've heard of resveratrol. That was a big deal for a while. Red wine, yeah, the French paradox. So red wine, um, red sour grape, wine comes from grapes, grape seeds. So grapes in general, good. Um, I'm just having fun. Um, alpha lipoic acid, uh, antioxidant, neuropathy. This is prescription from doctors in Germany for all diabetic patients because it helps with the neuropathy, the pain in the feet, because it's a antioxidant. All the inflammation that's happened in the body is oxidative stress. So what is that source? Alpha lipoic acid? Uh -huh. Knew you were going to ask that. I don't know for sure. Um, my, my wife loves to ask me questions that I can't answer when I'm on camera. I'm just kidding. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I love it because God certainly knows everything, and I know if I knew one tenth of one percent of what there is to know, I'd be I'd be shocked. Um, antioxidant boost by cedar bear, uh, elderberries, antioxidant. All berries are antioxidant, right? Elderberries, lyceum berries, green tea, hawthorn berries, milk thistle, shisandra, bilberry, sour cherry, elderflower, and French rose. That's their antioxidant. Alpha lipoic acid is like a. Is it like an amino acid? Uh, a, I guess I'm just wondering. Is it just like a? It's not a food versus, or is it a? It would come from a. It, there it would, would be a food, a food source of it. I don't know what it is. It's a. It's a component of a food. Yes, Got it would be it. like an. It would be like this. Would be like an example of an isolate. Isolate. It's an isolate. Yes. Okay, thank you. Yes, which I much prefer whole foods. But, but people works. can take concentrated yeah. amounts of isolates and get an effect. Yeah. Like, I'm not a fan of ascorbic acid, but people will go to places and get intravenous ascorbic acid shot into their veins, and it will help them. So you can use these things. Mm -hmm. I don't, again, I, I like the, just that picture of God created whole things in the way he created them for a right. reason and a purpose. That's our philosophy. Uh, but it doesn't mean you can't benefit, you know, from isolates it's, if it's from a good source. So that kind of covers the, uh, the whole antioxidant the of life? section. This is resveratrol. Oh, okay. uh, which another is, form of the grapes. Yeah. This is uh, raw. So, okay, so this is the, um, this is like wine in a bottle, right? So you tell people, hey, you, you know, we're going to be healthier. You can't drink your wine every night. Take this. Uh, raw, organically grown Cabernet Sauvignon grape seed. Hey. Hey. Um, raw fermented, wild crafted, Japanese, not weed, and then a bunch of other stuff. So cool. that concludes our antioxidant section. Is there any are is are there any questions? Oh, with the grapes, um, there's the whole debate, and I tend to think black grapes or red grapes are better. But mm. which one is do green? Green grapes have, do they have less antioxidants because of the coloring or, because they've always heard darker greens, more nutrients. Is that the same with berries, the darker the berry? It's a good question. I don't know if I have a good answer to it. But yeah, I would just be theorizing. Okay. She's asking about red versus green grapes. I mean, in general, they say the darker, rich, the color, the darker, the berry, the more antioxidants. Okay. The greener the food, like chlorella and spirulina, the more sunshine, the more power of God, the more everything. The acai berry was so huge for so long, they still go crazy over acai bowls in Hawaii. You know, 
that's old news here, but in Hawaii they're kind of slow. No, I'm just kidding. Um, that was a bad joke. Um, but acai berries, dark, rich color, so super high in antioxidants. What about goji berries? Goji berries too, goji for sure. Berries? Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Um, okay, any other questions? Okay. Got 20 minutes.